Hello and welcome to this video in which I'll explain how to extract metadata from a collection of files in a folder in Windows Explorer into an Excel spreadsheet. Now the background to this video is that I made a previous video in which I explained a method for exporting just the file names from a Windows Explorer folder tree into Microsoft Excel and the link to that previous video is included in the description below. But a number of users left comments such as this one saying is there any way to import information in addition to just the file name into an Excel spreadsheet in other words also the date modified the type the size etc and so this video explains a method for doing that so I will use the library of files that was used for the previous video to demonstrate the method in this case the only difference being that in the previous video the library contained only PDF files whose paths were copied and pasted into a spreadsheet. But in this case, if I search for just a period, you'll see that there are some photograph files and also an Excel spreadsheet and a Word document. And I bring up that complete listing by searching for just a period, which essentially displays everything in the folder tree. And those newly added files are here in the folder called mixed files. So the method we're going to use to extract all of the metadata we want, not just the file names, is to use the command line. And I appreciate that just the sound of the phrase command line freaks some people out. I was also intimidated by the command line when first using it. But the good news is you don't really need to understand the command line to follow the process that I'm going to show you here. You can just repeat the steps that I'm going to demonstrate. So we'll use some free software from a company named Jam Software. So you could Google Jam Software File List and go to the website of Jam Software. And they have software you can download for free. You will see this window or this preview here of the command line output, which is probably going to scare some people away. But uh, just bear with me, I'll show you. It's actually not that difficult. So you should download the collection of files using this download button over here. And after downloading and extracting those files, you'll see that there's just three of them. The one is a manual, which you can review if you want to learn how to use the software. But you might find that you don't actually need to review the manual. You can just follow the steps that I'm going to explain in this video, if it's the case that the output that I demonstrate is all that you need. So the next step is to copy and paste the file list.exe file from the download folder into the folder that you wish to extract the metadata for which in this case is a folder named Metadata Extraction Demo. So I'll paste it into there. You should then press the Windows key and R to open the run command and then type CMD into the run command. That'll open up the command line in Windows. You then go back to your folder that contains all of your folders and files and you copy the path of that folder to the clipboard by pressing Ctrl C come back into the command line, type cd for change directory, space, and then paste the path of the folder, push enter, and you should see that it changes the current directory to the new directory that your data is in. You then need some magic words or a magic string of code in order to extract the data. But don't worry, I've included the magic string of code in the description to this video, so you can just copy and paste it from there. So here it is, I'll copy and paste it in, and I'll briefly describe to you what the magic code is. First of all, it's a reference to filelist.exe, which is the executable file that we saved into our folder of documents. Then it says forward slash use columns, and following that, it's a listing of all of the data that's going to be extracted into the text file that's created. So first of all, it'll be the name of each file in the folder tree, the full path, the last change, in other words, the last time that the file was actually physically edited, not just copied from one location to another or one folder to another, but it was actually edited. The extension, dot doc, dot PDF, whatever it is, the file size, the authors. This pertains mostly to Microsoft Office documents, Word, Excel spreadsheets, things like that. And then the final field that I'm asking it to export is system.photo.date taken. You can see that system.photo.datetaken text is spread over two lines, but it is just one command. So 
That's the end of the list of metadata that's going to be exported and it's going to be sent to the file output.txt. So once again, you can just copy and paste this from the video description below and put it into the command line, then press enter. It'll take a minute to think and then it'll revert back to just listing the directory that you're in. You can then minimize the command line window and you'll see that it just created the file output.txt and that is now the file that contains the metadata. You can then go ahead and open up a Excel spreadsheet, go to the data tab on the ribbon, click get text from a text file or import data from a text file. You're going to want to navigate to the folder that contains your file, click import. Depending on your version of Excel, your table may look like this one or it may look slightly more old school uh, as shown in the table in the previous video. But this is fine. I'll import the, this text as a comma delimited file. Let's recognize that correctly. So I'll just go ahead and click load and you can see that it successfully brought all of the data into the spreadsheet. So we've got the file names, we've got the full file paths in the second column, we've got last modified, so that as I mentioned is when the file was actually edited as opposed to just copied from one folder to another. We've got the extension, we've got the file size. In the case of this Word document and this Excel spreadsheet we do have the author and then for photographs we've got the date taken which can be very valuable because often when you copy photographs from one device to another or one folder to another the modified date or the created date will actually be a long time after the photograph was taken but often it's the date the photograph was taken that is the most important so it's very useful to have this so that's an indication of how you can use the free software from jam software and the command line to export metadata to an excel spreadsheet so hopefully that's helpful to you